Welcome to day two of taking this mess of a desk and turning it into this. So the desktop table itself is done. However, this is a whole big project and we are starting into the next section, which I didn't think was gonna happen until next week. I ordered a new computer and that's why I decided to finally pull the trigger and get this whole desk revamped. I've been meaning to do the revamp on my desk for a while, but it was because I ordered a new computer. Let's take a look at this. Boom. A Legion from Lenovo. This is a uh, computer that I found on a nice Black Friday sale. I'm gonna grab a knife over here and we're gonna unbox this thing together. I am so excited right now. So excited, you guys. So, so, so excited. over here. I'm assuming this is just going to be our power cord. Yep. Power cord. Ooh. And a mouse. Comes with a mouse. Corded. USB. Some instructions, you know, if you feel like doing some light reading. Oh, on the other side. Comes with a keyboard. Let's see what kind of keyboard we got here. Um, pretty, pretty standard keyboard here. Um, definitely not like one of those. It's definitely not a uh, RGB or what do they call it? The the switched keyboard. This is more of a button one. Nice keyboard though. Really nice. I'm definitely going to be using this guy. Nice and clean. I wish it was wireless though. Um, I definitely enjoy having my wireless mouse that I use with my laptop right now, but um, I understand that like for gamers, which this computer is geared towards gamers, a wired mouse and keyboard is a faster option. Uh, I'm just doing video editing, so I don't need that super low latency. But let's get to the part that you came here for. Possibly, I don't know. <laughs> the Lenovo. <sighs> T5. She's got a lot of plastic on her. Let's see. She opened her door. I gotta rip it. Here's our opening here. Over here. Security seal. Looking at the back side here, we got the two display ports, three display ports, and an HDMI. Wow. This thing is ready for business and the handle to grab onto in the back. Ooh, and an open side. I didn't even know. I guess I didn't look close enough to the pictures. Let's see, I'm assuming it's gonna have the peel plastic here. No? It looks like it does. Yeah, it does. There it is. Ooh, that was nice. Nice. We got the GeForce 2060 here and um, a um, standard one terabyte hard drive. And then it also has a, a RAM over here. I don't remember all of our specs here on this guy. Let me pull it up here on my laptop. So it has a 256 gigabyte SSD. The RTX 2060, not the Super, um, but it is a 2060, as well as comes with Windows 10 Home, 16 gigs of DDR4, and the Core i7 10th gen, the 1070, 10700F. The i7 10700F. Um, yeah, this is the front side of our machine here. Not bad looking, right? The most frustrating part is, <laughs> the very most frustrating part is, I ordered a monitor for it, but it doesn't come until next week. 
So we're just gonna kind of set this up in place, kind of work on our organization here. Um, I, uh, I went to Walmart yesterday and I actually purchased this guy here. This is a $10, $11 stack of drawers where I can put power cables, my uh, recording equipment, so I have like uh, music or audio recording stuff that I don't use very often. Put that in here and then other random junk in the bottom drawer, of course. Um, but that will help to clean up that mess over there, hopefully. And uh, I'll just tuck this guy down under here um, where I have my old an ottoman or something. I don't know, I used it as a shelf <laughs> on top of my old desk. So this is the old shelf and I got my old desktop in there and some boxes, so I'm gonna be able to clear out most of that. Space heater will stay over here just because this side of the house gets cold sometimes. But um, yeah, let's start some organization and setup. I'm super excited, you guys. I'm super, super, super excited. trying to figure out is how I want to like organize everything over here I know it's a little dark but work with me here like I don't know where to put everything so I got power strips and things and then I got this guy and then I have all of these hard drives that I use to store backups of YouTube videos and everything else I know I'm a digital hoarder but um, I'm thinking I'm probably end up just stacking them on top of the computer itself here um, it may not look as awesome as I want. I almost want to like build a shelf down here and then put these on that shelf back there like so that it's just the USB hanging out and they're always connected. I think, I don't know. Oh, what do I want to do here? Actually, that's not bad. So we got Oscar and Ocho, Fat Bob, and then these are my two that I started with, Big Bertha and Slow Bob. Um, these guys can just kind of hang that way, I think, because these are just portable ones. They'll just hang out here, or maybe even down here in this drawer here. I'd also like to do some cable management, but I don't know how I want to approach that, because there is a whole lot of dangling cable here. Maybe I'll have to go online, watch some YouTube videos on cable management. Another issue I'm running into right now is that um, I don't have a monitor for this desktop. I do have this TV. This is what I usually use to watch YouTube videos and stuff. Um, and I only have this HDMI cable and it it's not very long. So if the computer is where I eventually want it, which is gonna be over here, yeah, this little cable isn't gonna work. So I'm just so eager to plug it in and play with it that um, I might just leave this right here for now so that this HDMI cable can reach. Oh man, this still doesn't even reach it. Are you kidding me? Okay, got an HDMI cable. All right. All right, so I don't have a um, I don't have a display yet, but this is my TV that's mounted on the wall in my room here. Um, I usually just use it to watch YouTube videos, but I'm, I have an HDMI connected to my computer. I'm just so eager. I'm not even going to finish cleaning up all of this stuff before I plug it in because I'm just so excited. So we're going to get it all plugged in. All right, moment of truth. <laughs> Oh, 
get started up. Hi there, I'm Cortana, and I'm here to help. A little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. So I was about to start by apologizing because I haven't actually, um, I, it's been a minute, but then I realized it hasn't been a minute for you because it wasn't recording this part, but I installed the computer and installed software and I'm still installing some like Adobe and things like that. But before I got into that, I started running some benchmarks and holy crap, check this out. So these are the benchmarks between my old computer, my laptop that I use for video editing, this guy right here, this Asus, um, versus this new desktop. I spent a thousand dollars on this laptop initially and then I put another thousand dollars of upgrades into it. This desktop was twelve hundred dollars shipped, taxes, everything. Twelve hundred right now. Look at these stats, like holy crap. Uh, <laughs> total overall score 7,409 for our desktop versus my laptop got 551 <laughs> oh, it's so bad um, we were both running an i7 but this one's a gen 10 while this was a gen 6 I think gen 3 um, we got our 3d mark score 7,409 uh, versus 551 um, if we jump down to our gra like our CPU score is just insane difference here but then look at our graphics test our first one we got 45 frames per second on the first one while I only got 3.15 frames per second on my laptop <laughs> and then the other one is 40 frames per second versus 2.8 <laughs> frames per second <laughs> I am so excited to test this thing out, start doing some video editing, like see how fast everything just renders and like clears out. I'm, I'm hoping it becomes a much more efficient setup. And that's going to do it for this video. Uh, this is just one part of a large series uh, all about my new video editing setup here. Um, starting with I bought a new computer and I was like, well, if I'm going to get a new computer, I'm going to need a new desk. If I got a new desk and a new computer, I'm definitely going to need a new monitor. And if I get a new monitor, like, I don't want to just have a regular monitor on the desk. I got a monitor uh, arm that's adjustable, that moves around. So stick around for those videos, as well as a uh, little how-to tutorial on this guy. This CPU fan on every Legion 5 uh, desktop, the RGB, doesn't quite seem to work out of the box. And uh, I found out how to fix that. So... Stick around for that video. Hit the subscribe and ring that little bell so you get notifications of when my next video is. And we will see you guys in the next one.